Hello, this is Newsom from New Horizons. Today I'm going to show you how to browse a website, save websites from an Outlook and browse them from within Outlook. You can see I've got, I'm in Outlook. I'm actually at the top of a thing where it's got my name, Newsom Burger. Um, and I'm in the Outlook Today branch here. So I've just clicked on the top of here. What I'm going to do from here is I'm going to press my right mouse button and I'm going to create a new folder called Websites. As you can see, websites is displayed down here. What I'm going to do now is from that website, I'm going to create some subfolders from that, which are going to be websites that we can browse. So the first one is going to be BBC websites. Right, I'm going to click on OK, and we'll see a folder. Now this won't immediately happen. What I need to do now, I need to select the BBC website, press my right mouse button go to properties and in properties I need to go to the home page tab of that folder I need to type in HTTP colon and I haven't typed a colon in this let me backspace that shift colon and forward slash forward slash www And I need to ensure that this box is ticked. And when I click on apply and click on OK, we'll go straight to the BBC website. As you can see, I'm in the BBC website now. I'll do that again. I'm going to create another website. My websites folder, another folder. I'm going to create a new folder. And we'll call this CNN. We'll go to the CNN website. So the CNN website. Click on OK. Remember, I've got to select the folder and press my right mouse button to get to properties. Then go to the home page. Remember, what have I got to type in? I'm going to type in HTTP colon slash slash www.cnn.com. I'm going to show that home page. I'm going to click on apply. Click on OK. And it may get some errors. Maybe some errors about scripts on the page. Just click past then. Yeah. Yeah. Click on OK. And there we have CNN. Yep. Yeah. And I hope you enjoyed that lesson. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.